What is going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video of myself and uh, the wife and Harrison actually came along and we are in Maui in this video and I wanted to show you guys some of the sneakers in Maui that I ended up seeing. I stopped by a couple different stores including Adidas and Ross and Champ Sports. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. It's kind of a long one, but let's go ahead and go on the journey. This is the Adidas store. This is in Lahaina and I was actually just in here trying to find some boosts, see if they had anything in stock like that. Honestly, I didn't know what they would have because last time I was in Maui, I checked a Foot Locker out and they really didn't have much. And funny thing is actually I had a video uh, from that Foot Locker store and I never posted it like three, two or three years ago. And I just left it private and I never actually posted it for you guys, which is kind of funny because I went through the effort to make it. But, uh, but I, you know, it wasn't very entertaining. They didn't have a ton of sneakers there. This time actually I found a lot more. Check out that like, it looks like almost like an Ultra Boost uh, 1.0 print, but these are the Energy Boost 3s. And I would honestly remove that cage, of course. I haven't done it yet, but if I got a pair of those for the right price, I definitely would do it. And that is kind of a look at some of the boosts that they had. They had more in the women's selection than they did in the men's, but they had a couple interesting pairs of sneakers that I haven't seen before, uh, like those ones right there. But, uh, but yeah, it was a pretty uh, mellow trip. They didn't have a ton at the Adidas store here. And uh, they just had some kind of downgrades like these, like I showed you guys before. They kind of look like fake Ultra Boost, but they're like the cloud foam stuff. And it's just like a, a, a downgrade model from the, uh, I guess, the flagship. And then they had the Alpha Bounce in a couple different colorways there. And uh, they had some of these for 60 bucks instead of the 75 of the Stan Smiths in the original colorway. Kind of interesting that they had those there. No other discounts um, for those. $80 for the regular Superstars. Bunch of different colorways they had of those, and then they had the Prime Knit um, Stan Smiths, which really didn't sell very well, surprisingly, because they're kind of a nice model, but they're definitely something you could buy for pretty cheap. In fact, I will link in the description Adidas clearance sale going on right now. They have a ton of different sales going on on Adidas and Nike, and uh, and I tweeted it out yesterday, and they had some really fun deals. They also have the Crazy Explosives for like 104 bucks, which is a pretty good price. And that is the Prime Knit version, which is pretty awesome. They had uh, the tubular runners in store here. These ones were kind of weird, dude. I've never seen these ones before, but it has that glitch camo, kind of that circular knit pattern or whatever it's called. And it's kind of the glitch, but it's not. And they're $85 for this model. But it looks kind of like a downgrade version of the NMD. Look at the back heel cup area and the tongue. Looks like an NMD, but it's XPLR. I don't know what that stands for. Even the sole looks like an NMD. Definitely looks like a knockoff NMD in, in my opinion, but it's funny because this is kind of like what an Adidas sneaker would have looked like before they had Boost, and now that they have Boost, it just changes the game. They also have, uh, check out these bad boys, the Adidas 350s, not to be confused with the Adidas Yeezy uh, Boost 350s. Anyways, moving on, they did have some of these Alpha Bounces. This is like an interesting kind of uh, tech fleece sort of material on these uh, RCs. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but interesting. And then what's up, buddy? Little homie was just walking around. FYI, I was going to do a live com over this stuff, but uh, I really couldn't do it because they had music uh, playing in the background of the store. I didn't want to have that in the video. So kind of crappy sometimes when that happens. The music was super loud too, so it just wasn't usable, unfortunately. And they had these for 70 bucks. Not bad for the amount of boost you get in those. Uh, just kind of one of those pairs of boosts that really doesn't do very well, which is uh, interesting, but 70 bucks isn't bad. And then they had this one, which is actually a pretty cool looking pair, but this is a women's shoe. It's a Response 3. That is a women's shoe, as you can see right there. 70 bucks isn't too bad of a price. They also had the Pure Boost R. I think those are the Raws, I thought. They didn't actually haven't tried this one, uh, but it's an interesting model. And then they had the Supernova Sequence. Just more Boost models that you really don't know. These ones are fresh, though. Just one of those ones that I would buy if I needed them, but I have so many other pairs that I haven't tried the Energy Boost 3 yet. If they do have an Energy Boost 4, it definitely will be one that will be on my radar. But 90 bucks for those, definitely a really good price. And the interesting look to these, they have that kind of bape, bape camo print on those, the Addy Power with Boost. Uh, interesting looking pair of sneakers and then just some other random stuff over there. And what do we have here? Energy Boost 3 in that white colorway again. I want to cut the cage on those. They have these wild crazy ones, also Women's Pure Boost X and then some other colorways as well. And then they had a lot of flip-flops. So go figure, they have flip-flops in Maui. They had quite a few of those in the back. Uh, and then they had some uh, clearance hash wall stuff also, just some interesting looking stuff, nothing too crazy. Those have like the same straps as the 
Ultra Boost ST pretty much. And uh, these ones were interesting. The Superstars Upstraps. I don't remember seeing a pair of these, but the leather actually looked really nice. It kind of remind me of like a Raps Simmons or whatever, like collab, but they had those there and some other just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Just kind of browsing through, looking at the kid stuff. Check out these little itty bitty baby alpha bounces. How cute are those? Uh, I need to get some uh, some for Harrison of those little dudes, but like in, in boy colors. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then this, he was just walking around like making noises and I don't know. I felt bad because he's just putting his face all over the box and we weren't buying it. Sometimes the wife lets him do that though because he kind of just runs free. Uh, we, he's hard to harness the energy of this little dude and focus it yet, but she was trying to have him put the lid back on of the ball. But it was kind of cool. They had tailor-made balls and uh, they had, that was uh, no no like clubs or anything. Maybe they had some clothes. I didn't even look. Here's just kind of an overview of the store so you guys can see. It's not a very big store, pretty small, but uh, but they had... It's kind of the standard stuff you'd see at Adidas, but no Ultra Boost. And anybody, I don't know if you guys even remember, but back in the day, they used to have Ultra Boost at the um, the stores like this. In fact, the first colorway, now the OG colorway is what everybody calls it. They had at the Nike, or the, the Nike, they had them at the Adidas uh, outlet stores. And I just remember always seeing them there, but they were always full price, so I never bought them. In fact, if you look back at my Adidas outlet videos, I have videos of it for proof. Like they just had them at the... The store all the time and in fact it was the OG colorway which is crazy because now that one is one where I'm like damn it I should have bought that one the black and the blue uh, heel cage one because it's one that now people probably um, are looking for and uh, yeah they had some uh, of the Adidas logo hats right here and they were buy one get one free or something one for half price or something like that it's kind of a cool one interesting though I was like why do they have a New York shirt in Maui it didn't make too much sense but it was there they had these also, which were interesting, these um, pair of uh, superstars with that crazy like triangle pattern on them, and then that suede, which is really, really nice on those ones. 50 bucks on those. I also saw those at Ross later in the video, which you will see in a different color. And they had the ZX Fluxes. Remember the ZX Flux craze? That went. That was like a big thing for a little while, and then it just died super quick. I think it died as soon as people found out Boost was like the better option. I mean, why would you pay $75 for the ZX Flux when you could... Paying a little bit extra for a pair of Pure Boost, and then even more for an Ultra, obviously. Kind of fun-looking watches that they ended up having uh, with some Adidas logos on those also. Pretty vibrant, colorful. Moving on, though, went to Ross, and it was raining. The kid was sleeping in the car, so the wife was like, go ahead and shop around. So I went for it, shopped around, and uh, checked out the Ross. The, I forgot that they had stores like this that had the flagpole things to hold the shopping carts. This was me holding the camera real still, like real not still as I'm walking around. So some of y'all are going to get real dizzy right here because I'm just walking like just a crazy person. But it's hard for me because I don't want to, people to know I'm actually filming. And so it's just kind of an awkward like walking moment as I'm filming um, me walking into the store because I never know quite how I'm going to film or use the footage of that. And if I'm going to do live comments or not, th this one was the store was a little bit too loud again. The music was uh, blaring a little bit too loud. But here's kind of a look overall. And then first thing that draws my eye was the shell toes again. I was like, hey, I just saw these. And they had the red pair uh, right over here. And uh, interesting, the shell toe actually does some uh, reflective stuff. But they were 30 bucks, which is less than the 50 at the outlet. But then I saw these. I was like, holy crap. They have these KDE Christmas joints, the eggnog joints from years past. I was really sh shocked to see that they actually had these, and they were 75 bucks. They had a whole bunch of pairs, too. So uh, this was really, really eye-opening. I didn't know that the Ross would be cracking over here. More shell toes for 40 bucks, And um, kind of random pair of Reeboks, but kind of has a knit upper. Kind of reminds me of a fly knit upper on these ones for 20 bucks, Pretty cheap. But uh, And then this this brand, I didn't even know what these ones were. QDP, and then at 36-something on the 361. Interesting look to those and some more just randomness and uh, Yeah, pretty pretty crazy selection of sneakers right here that they had some clutch fits Kind of has that spider-man look to them $43 for those they had actually a lot of Under Armors, which was really surprising I'm not necessarily sure why uh, But they had a whole bunch of different ones the micro G's in fact I know these are probably older models, but I don't even know which models those ones were since I'm not uh, the hugest fan of them. And then they had these, these Lunar Glide 7s, which obviously they're on the 8s. So this is like last year's model, 47 bucks. I have that colorway in my garage right now. Love that one. And it's actually 
uh, just a really comfortable pair of sneakers if you never tried them. I prefer the Lunar Glide 6s, though, to even the 7s or the 8s, if you ask me. And uh, moving on, they had some Brooks, and these ones are on clearance for $20.99. This colorway was just crack, though, for these Under Armors. Like, Curry is need to come in colorways like that. Those things are, are crazy fresh. I, I like those ones. And then some New Balance. Kind of an interesting look to these. $30 for Puma soccer cleats. And I didn't even know, I guess Puma does make soccer cleats and stuff. I forget. I'm not a soccer fan. Don't hang me, guys. I don't know. And uh, and then some more Pumas in uh, these uh, suede's for 23 bucks. Lillard's, I think. I was like, wait, are these Lillard's or not? These are like the Addy Pure or something. I, I have no idea. I didn't realize that the Lillard's looked so close to that model. Uh, very interesting. An interesting looking pair of cleats right here as well. Kind of a weird pattern. Speaking of weird patterns, Skechers. Uh, kind of have that, that rainbow uh, print or something like that going on. Lots of flip-flops in Ross. If you guys go to Hawaii, go to Ross if you guys forget flip-flops and swim trunks. They had them for way cheaper than the, the tourist trap spots, man. And this Ross is really close to the airport. So just stop in and grab some stuff you guys need from here. It's including this sparkly <laughs> Hawaii hat and, and denim, kind of crazy looking hat. But lots of, uh, lots of options for uh, flippy floppies. And uh, and swim trunks. Anybody remember that T Pain joint? I'm just saying that that on a, on a boat was crazy. These were also surprising to see there. I was like, whoa, they have the elites, and uh, and these ones were the elites from years past as well. And the price point was 75 bucks. I was like, dude, that is crazy. That's a really good price for a pair of those. I think those are the KD7 uh, elites. But then they had the LeBron 13s as well in this colorway here. And I swear this is different than the other one that I've seen. I don't know. I, I swear this is just a colorway that I'm not familiar with because I know that they had a gray and black and like reddish one, but it looked different than this. And I, I don't know. I'm losing my brain. I kept thinking, I'm like, are these real or are these like replicas or are they ones that were never released? I, I honestly couldn't pinpoint it because some of them were such weird colorways that I just didn't remember. And they had some Kobe 10s as well for 73 bucks. I'm like, man, that is a steal for the technology that you get in these Kobe 10s. Uh, worth it, in my opinion. Comfortable pair of sneakers. For the price point some more superstars and some vibrant colors and that orange kind of uh, gum sole on these are pretty pretty nice i guess it's not gum but you know what i mean some more random pairs of under armors and some hirachis i was like well okay they got some hirachi utility things over here not too bad and uh price point 47 bucks definitely a good deal with that like winter camo another sleeper pair i actually have these ones as well but they looked almost fake to me again i don't know what it was just maybe because they were beat up but uh these lebron lows were uh, in stock there for uh, 60 bucks, man. I paid way more than that for mine, which is uh, unfortunate. But uh, you can see the, those ones are kind of beat up a little bit. And then they had these again with a boost on it in the back. And they're 40 bucks for those. Some Kyries even. They had Kyries there, dudes, for $40. I was like, what is going on? They have all of last year's, last two years of Nike basketball there, including the lower models. So you have the regular Kobe's for 60 or the downgrade model. For 45 not too bad. And then here's another pair of the, uh, the LeBron 13s in a different colorway. So they had a couple different ones. It was surprising, again, to see all of them. Some Brooks in a really, really vibrant pink berry sort of color for 30 bucks on those. Nice looking materials, actually, on those ones. But here's a look at the wall, man. Lots of LeBrons, lots of KDs, as you can see there. These were only $37 for these soldiers, but they were in just a ginormous size, I think, uh, like size 17 or something crazy. But um, but then they had a couple other things. This was probably the pair that if I did have to buy a pair and I, I could buy a pair, this is the one I probably would have bought for 70 bucks, uh, the uh, 12s. And you could see that this is in that bright orange colorway. Unfortunately, I wish it was blue parts that I could actually just paint like black, but couldn't. Then surprising to see these there. These things are pretty expensive by retail and they're only 55 bucks. Uh, but who buys big, huge, thick, heavy hiking boots in Hawaii? It seems kind of like a... A brain no brainer not to do that then they had some crazy light explosive or crazy explosive light I'm, I'm just kidding i have no idea i think the crazy lights from the year past and they didn't have the full boost in it though but it did look like it has some prime knit upper and another sleeper another pair from years past this nike foam posit uh chuck posit to be exact pretty crazy to see these there retail and these were pretty expensive i think like two 225 and these ones were only 70 bucks 
uh, on the uh, the Ross wall there. And then another pair. I don't remember this colorway, dude, for 40 bucks. This is less than the other model. So the other downgrade model was 45. These ones were only 40. Pretty good deal. And another model, which I thought these were the Lillard sort of something or others, but they're not. Also went to TJ Maxx. I was like, yes, let's go find out what we can find. And they did not have anything. You can see it raining and my jittery crappy camera. And then look at this. This is the only thing that I saw. These court joints from Nike in this pink and uh, red color. And the reason why we couldn't find anything is because they don't have any men's shoes there, which is kind of depressing. So we kept going while the kid was sleeping and we found this mall. Uh, I was trying to find like a Nike or something, but they don't have a Nike store. But they did have what said was a finish line which is hilarious because i'll leave that at the very very end because it was the worst finish line i've ever seen in my life but this uh was the mall and it was kind of a cool outdoor mall and inside of it i found a champ sports so i wanted to go in and check out what they had in champs and see if it compared to the stuff that we have on the mainland and it was actually quite surprising they had quite a bit of stuff here including a pair of these but not the boost version i was actually wearing the boost version of the 93 uh, 9317s when I walked in. Stan Smith's in this kind of crazy iridescent color. I don't remember seeing these ones, but not too bad. The rose gold, Stan Smith's. And then they had some boost, man. I was surprised. They had a couple pairs of NMDs. That camo pa pack is sleeping everywhere, even in Hawaii. And even the NMDs, both these colorways are crack. And, uh, and then the tubular shadows or whatever those ones are called. But these... Oh, I like this colorway and I like the other two colorways too. Then they had Jordan Retros as well. So they had a couple Jordan Retros sleeping. These are sleeping in Hawaii even. It's crazy, man. But the price point is a killer. $225. Definitely a sick pair of sneakers though. Just a really expensive price point. But those are sleeping in Hawaii. The threes, the twos are $130. And then the uh, the tens over there as well. And then they had a, a pair of these woven joints right there. Surprised to see so many of these out here. I don't know why they had them in so many different colorways, but this is like uh, the Air Max, like the two neck Air Max or whatever. I loved these back in the day, man. I still remember going to Whistler BC and, and uh, I, I can't remember if I bought them there or I was surprised by the price point because it was so expensive in Canada, but definitely love those models there. They have the shocks, they have Prestos in like a bunch of different models or different colorways. And then they also have like this colorway. I've never even seen this color of Presto. I was like, oh, these are dumb. But if, if I saw those at the Nike factory, or Nike employee store, I would probably would have bought them. They have Hirachis, Roshis, like all of the Nike staples. They had all of them there, which that, that whole section covered. And then they have kind of the more expensive stuff, um, which is the flying it's lunar joints right here. And an interesting looking model that I don't remember seeing. This is a women's only, but it has a strap down there across it, which was kind of a, an odd look. But those ones with the free bottoms, and they were only 70 bucks. This pair of shell toe was really kind of a crazy looking one but it was women's, but I like the art over top of that one. And then here's a look at the GR sort of stuff. So you can see they had um, some more Jordans in the GR kind of section sitting. That's kind of an overview of the uh, the champs though. Definitely pleasantly surprised. They had quite a bit of stuff uh, in champs here. And then this is the worst part of the video that's hilarious and I'll end it with this. I walked into the Macy's cause I was like, I asked the champs people, I was like, where is there a finish line? They're like, oh, it's in the Macy's. I was like, what? So then I went and checked it out, and this is it, finish line. This is the finish line. I was like, this is terrible. This has to be the worst finish line I've ever seen in store. But it was pretty funny to see, so I figured I'd show you guys. This was pretty much it, the entire thing. And the only thing good that I saw was this pair right here, <laughs> the Monarchs. $48, that's a steal. Anyway, that's all we got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you guys for some more uh, random videos soon. Peace, guys.